again, my name is Gabe Zona. This is the 21st of January, 2019, Martin Luther Day. Don't know if you watched one of my videos that I posted on Martin Luther. I have no doubt that he was taken out by our government. You know, if you don't take the time to join ZonglyReport.com, you're really missing out on a whole lot of very, very important information. Not necessarily posted by me, but posted by my highly valued viewers and contributors. I posted a video titled Nancy Pelosi Should Be in Prison. It's only had a couple of comments. One of them was by Wiley. And as you probably know if you've been watching me, he comments and provides rather interesting links as he did in this case. And what he wrote is most of the United States government should be in prison with her. See at 00 0.20.40 and he attached the link which I will naturally provide as well. And what you're going to hear is you're going to hear the last American vagabonds point on a number of topics. The video is 30 minutes and 46 seconds in duration and he covers a whole lot of bases. He doesn't blame necessarily Israel on the attack in Syria. He doesn't, he doesn't know who attacked who first. But what he does do is he makes it very clear that the United States isn't in the business of liberating countries, they're in the business of occupying countries. And all you have to do is look at reality. How long have we been in Afghanistan? Is that an act of liberation or an act of occupation? Huh? How about Iraq? Now what he brings into clear focus is that since the takedown of the Twin Towers, which was a catalyst to propel us into an endless war, according to the latest figures, $5.9 trillion have been spent waging war. We have over a thousand bases in over 80 countries. Does that sound like a country that's out to liberate or occupy? Hmm? <laughs> he talks about that bloated hog, Mike Pompeo, the Secretary of State, and his speech in Cairo, how it's just full of hot air. Endless lies. But what do you expect? Mike Pompeo was a congressman. And go do a search on Representative Jolly, J-O-L-L-Y, in 60 minutes. You'll learn about congressmen. The whole thing's absolutely insane. The thing that I have difficulty uh, accepting is the position that the last American vagabond seems to take on Israel. And he sort of dances on a thin wire. He doesn't say that he believes that they were the first aggressor as far as Syria is concerned, but he doesn't say that they weren't. What people have to realize is that Syria is a Muslim country, as is Turkey, as is Saudi Arabia, as is Yemen, Qatar, the list goes on. And all you have to do is open the Quran and see how Muslims feel about Jews or infidels, anyone that isn't a Muslim, but they have a special hatred for Jews. Their whole objective is to come in quietly, integrate, 
they don't assimilate they stick together following their holy Quran and then they eventually dominate and subjugate those that they initially went ahead and occupied. That's what they've done throughout history. That's what they're doing right here in the United States. We now have four Muslims in Congress. Four. In the next, I don't know, two or three or four or five or six years, we'll have six. Then we'll have eight. Then we'll have ten. And we'll have some senators that are Muslims. That's how they do it. Listen to the video. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. He talks about an article put up by Zero Hedge. You can't make this stuff up, folks. You know, before I started making videos, and I've made mention of this in previous videos as well, I started writing a book. And the title of that book is America, A Warring Nation. And I've only got about, I don't know, 30, 35, or 40 pages done in the book. I haven't looked at it for the past almost seven years. But we are always at war. The United States needs to fuel the industrial military complex. And they're doing it on steroids, thanks to George W. Bush and his administration. The takedown of the Twin Towers catapulted us into this endless war. You can't make this stuff up, folks. A special thanks goes out to Wiley. I really, truly do appreciate the kind of information many of my viewers provide, many of which I turn around and present to you. So again, if you're not a regular viewer, and if you're not a subscriber, you're going to miss out on a whole lot. That's sort of what I think. Take a look at the clip. Pass it along to your like-minded friends. You can't make this stuff up, can you?